सो हैव यू सीन दिस एनिमेशन इट हैज़ बीन क्रिएटेड यूजिंग जियो लेयर थ्री बट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट इट विदाउट यूजिंग जियो लेयर थ्री हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ नरेश एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस टर्निंग मैप एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग जियो लेयर थ्री प्लग इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सेम एनिमेशन यूजिंग जियो लेयर थ्री सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बाई क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू कंपोजिशन लेट्स कॉल इट मेन नाइनटी ट्वेंटी बाई वन जीरो एटी एंड ट्वेंटी फोर फ्रेम्स पर सेकेंड वी विल नीड थर्टी सेकेंड वर्ल्ड मैप विदाउट एनी लेबल्स इमेज आई हैव डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम दिस साइट आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन देन आई हैव रिसाइज इट इन फोटोशॉप एज इट वॉज अ ह्यूज फाइल After that only I could import it into the After Effect. Now drop this image over this composition icon to create a new comp of that image type. All right. So this is the image, no labels or any icons, clean. Okay. Now add that map comp to our main composition and scale it down to the extent you want your animation to start, just like. Also adjust the position however you want. So this is the initial view from where we will start our map ending. We can convert it to 3D and open it to add the outline of the country. Kindly check the description for the link from where I have downloaded this file. This is the Adobe Illustrator file. Open it and select this file. Copy it and paste it to our map com. very small file compared to our map com right click and convert it to a save file and delete this file if we no longer require select the file and press as for the scale now let us scale it up try to superimpose it as close as possible as it is created from an illustrator file and not a map file Okay so this is looking good All right now i have taken some screenshots to select color let us add it over here select this shape and change its color now press t for the opacity and bring it down to 75 or 80 All right let's delete Now bring another image here and adjust it over the map just like this bring down the transparency adjust the scale and place it properly it will help us to place the state shapes exactly over the map so let us first add this karnataka adobe illustrator file i have converted the svg state shape file to ai file online adjust the position and scale to fit it properly we could also convert it to shape file or use it as it is same way at the other four state and adjust them using the state border file we have already added here all right now we can remove this image and change the color of the shape let me add this screenshot for the reference now select the first state add the fill effect from the effects and preset and select this color repeat the same for the rest of the layer All right so first we will animate the complete map and adjust the keyframe then we will be doing the rest of the things like text and marker animation okay so go to the main composition we have already converted it to the 3d layer and now add a new 35 mm camera change to two views and move the camera backward grabbing it using the z axis readjust the scale and position again let us change back to one view and add a new null object convert it to 3d and parent it with the camera press p for position keep hold shift press r for the rotation and add all the initial keyframe now move our playhead to 4 seconds or so and zoom it using the 
Z position. Also change the value of this first orientation parameter. Then change the Y position to bring back India. Also rotate the image using this last orientation value. Just like this. Alright, move further 4 seconds and change this second orientation value like this. So further it will be moving. Increase the zoom, adjust the position and slightly rotate using the orientation's last value. Again adjust the position. Now move to 12 seconds and further bring it close and rotate a little. At 14 seconds bring it back to its original position. For that copy the first keyframes, paste it here and add zoom in this position. Slightly bring it down. Again move to 18 seconds and zoom the map to UP here. Then at the final position, change the first orientation value to make it look flat. Use orientation and Y position to move it and make it happen. Zoom out using the Z axis if it is too close to the camera. Alright, so our main animation is ready. Select all the keyframes and I am using the flow plugin to change the speed graph. But let me show you it will look like this. Let us play. Now we will add the rest of the things. Ok, let us add the first text which is animated first. So open map comp and add the text. Select the font of your choice and adjust it. Now to make the text look curvy, having selected text, use a pen tool and draw a curved line like this. Now go to the text, select the path option and select mask 1. Also of the reverse path. So you will get this curved text like this. Adjust the position, size and rotation if you wish. Ok, then we will use the text animation preset. Go to effects and presets, search for opacity flicker in the text effect and add on the text. Press U to reveal the keyframe. Go to range selector, advanced option and off the random order. We don't need this. So delete this, delete this also. Let us bring this here and spread it out by holding the option or alt. Alright, so our text is ready. Now here at this place, we can add the city lamp. For that, let's add a new white solid. Write text to it. Increase the size and align it to center. Keep holding the command key and double click on this anchor icon to set it in the center. Select the pen tool and while selecting the solid, create this type of text box around it. Hold shift to draw the straight line and release shift for the pointy part. So this is how we have created the text box. Now we can add a stroke to it and change the color to black and size to 3 or 4. Select both the layers and pre-compose it. Let's call it label 1. Alright, now let us convert it to 3D. Then bring it forward by rotating it using the X axis. Suddenly this X, Y and Z handles disappeared. Thankfully I got it back from here. Alright, so let us scale it down and use these handles to move it to the appropriate place. The idea here is that it should be as close to the main layer so that it will not appear weird and float for the rest of the animation. So look carefully here when it starts indenting and disappearing in the layer. So that means it is close enough to the layer. 
Use the Y position value to move it forward and backward. Now you can see it sticks even during the animation. Now open label precom, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle while holding the ship. Move it to the last order, change the color to red and make sure the anchor point is in the center. Convert it to 3D and move its X axis. Align it to the text box like this. Don't completely rotate the X axis, just a little like this. Lift the label by grabbing the Y axis, just a little. Adjust the text inside the box. Now let us animate the label and the circle. Change the anchor point of this box to here. Select both layers, press S for the scale and add initial keyframe. Move both the keyframes here then change it to 0. Change the speed graph. After that we can animate the scale of the circle here at this position. Add scale keyframes one second apart and make the initial value 0. Select both the keyframes and apply the speed graph. Alright, now by holding Alt or Option key, click the stopwatch icon and add the loop out express. Ok, now we can apply some animation to this state shape. Move it over here and add opacity keyframe. Select both the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Also type the text in it. Place it properly. Search and add typewriter preset from effects and preset. Move it at the beginning and decrease the space to make it quick. Now go to source and duplicate the label using the command or control plus D. At the second label convert it to 3D. Bring the scale down. Rotate the X and Y axis and Z2 and scale it down and place it over here. Now this label should animate from here. So move it here. Open the label comp and change the text. Alright, so similar way we can animate the rest of the text, labels and state shape. We forgot to add the opacity animation on this first shape. So copy this flicker opacity from the text and paste it to the shape layer. And it's done. Alright, so from this keyframes onwards, where it changes orientation, we can apply the scale, position and rotation keyframes as this label will not auto orient just like in case of Geo layer 3. Add keyframes to rotation and change as per the rotation. So increase the scale. So finally it will look like this. Almost as punchy as Geo layer. But required a lot of effort and we had to do every bit of it manually. Which is not so with Geo layer 3 and it is very quick. Alright, so let's add text here. India and place it properly. Adjust the size, color and placement however you want. Right click and add a new adjustment layer. Select the ellipse tool and double click over it to add an ellipse mask. Add Gaussian blur effect to it. Increase the blur value. Invert the mask. Go to mask and increase the feather amount. Now duplicate it. Rename it as a vignette. Remove the Gaussian blur and add the vignette effect. Alright, as we have used a camera. Let us also apply some camera set. So first make a full resolution. Chain to two views. This one is left or whatever you are comfortable viewing at. Select null and reveal the keyframe. For camera focus distance and aperture, these two properties we are going to play with. So what is the trick here? This is the main layer on which we want the focus. Let us change it to yellow. Add keyframes to focus distance and aperture at the playhead at the beginning. 
and change the iris shape to hexagon. Always focus should be on our object or point of interest. Move to the second keyframe. This one is our layer, yellow color. And this is our focus. So this is how it has to be set. Set the aperture to 14 or so to make everything clear. If you bump the value, it will blur everything. So set the focus on each keyframe. And for the final frame, increase the aperture. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave us like subscribe the channel and see you in the next one bye bye